got a big booty. I'm releasing an app on iOS and Android. I work hard as fuck. I'm not clingy, but I'll always make sure my partner feels appreciated. Okay, so I don't cook, but I can. I can learn. So me and my husband have been together for eight years, married for seven. When I got married, my mother came to me privately and talked about setting aside money as a rainy day escape fund. If worse came to worse. My husband has never shown any signs of being dangerous and rarely even gets upset. But the way my mother talked about it, it seemed like a no-brainer to have. I lost my boyfriend of a brain aneurysm in the middle of sex. I was getting head and a blood vessel popped in his brain. And yeah, it's like the best and the worst because it's like at least he left out like a real nigga. What's up, good people? Oh my good, yeah, boy. Jones out there, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, out there. Listen, hold on, <laughs> hold on now. You know what it is. You know what you, you know what time to start it, right? Guess who's bizarre? <laughs> Still selling crack in my clothes. <laughs> Don't let me relapse on these hoes. Don't let me relapse <laughs> on these hoes. Mm. Shout out to the hoes. Yeah, shout out to the hoes now. What are you doing? I mean, they are who they are. Hey, listen, this your podcast, man. We don't we, we, we love we love the hoes. Yeah, we don't discriminate. Okay, yeah, man, we love let's, let's get the quick. Y'all can have that. Y'all can have that topic. I, I'll just you know just sit here and listen. Like there aren't any men hoes <laughs> out there. Men hoes. And I don't love the hoes, so that's oh. why I said you can have that topic. Well, sorry I don't to want the male no hoes. hoes. Yeah, sorry to the male hoes. Anyway, <laughs> Los of Dark Gable. <laughs> I got my man CJ over here. What's good? Yeah, man, let's hit that thing right. Goody, how y'all doing tonight? Y'all feeling? Yeah, and then we got we got T in the building, y'all. Hey, Habanero got that red. Habanero over there. Yeah, got the red on. Spicy, spicy. Hold on, we more. Let's make sure T right there. Let's make sure we get her her lighting done right. Let me. It's just fine. Is your lighting just fine? Is, is the lighting just fine over there or? Oh, okay. You know, you can give me my spotlight. Give you spot. Hold on. Let, Qu- queen. Let, let, queen and let, royalty treatment is what I was what I desire. Uh, thank uh, you very much. Thank uh, you very much. Thank, thank hit you. Hit it one more. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Now let that. Uh, shine bright let like that a light diamond. Shine. Yeah, man. Shine yes. bright like a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Welcome. Welcome, y'all. Listen. Another episode, man. You know how we do. We do it live. Exactly. I mean, if you don't know, we do it live. Yep, no rehearsals. No, no rehearsals. And then you can, you know, on Saturday, you can look at the edited version. But check this out, y'all. We're about to close to being monetized. So with that being said, the live shows is going to be behind a paywall. Membership only. I'm sorry. But you can look at the show on Saturday. But if you become a member, you can look at the show all week. Tune you know in Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, but all you, the can, days. you can catch it. You can catch it live. Yeah. But you can't look at the live show recorded. Do I make myself? Click is a very easy instruction. <laughs> so just make yourself a member. Just make yourself a member, man. We ain't going to hit and you enjoy. in the head. Hmm? You know. Shout oh, out. Yeah. I want to give a Support big shout out. this joint. I want to give a big shout out yeah. to... Um, so our viewers, uh, we got. I just found out we got viewers in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, yes, we at, do. At, listen, listen, listen. As Charlotte, as, as, North Carolina, hey, who uh, 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 be in the building? Did Uber yes, come? Hey, my hey, man, who in the building? Let's get that. Let's give it to Uber right there, y'all. Let's give it to Uber in the building. Listen, we got people tuning in from across the pond in London, man. Yeah, yes. hey, come on. that is what's up. You know, hey, listen, this is what we might do, man. We we we, we got it down as a quick top ten of our most loyal listeners, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So let's at, at number ten, Phoenix, got, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Shout out, shout out to, to the Phoenix. desert. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Exactly. At number nine. Charlotte, North Carolina. Queen City. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Queen Let's give it a shot. Have y'all ever been to Onyx in uh, Charlotte? Ooh. Lord. Hey, hey, I don't know. I've never been there, but it sounds. Oh, nice. my goodness. You know what I mean? I hope it's better than our, our Onyx. Way better. Oh, shit. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we got at number eight, man. London. Shout out goodness. to my people across Yo. the pond. Go oh, ahead, yeah, London. London. London is feeling this John. Yes. Yeah, you know I mean, this John. Yeah, you know what? That's where we're going to shoot the 100th episode, London. London. 
London, not Chinatown. London. We're not it going to No disrespect to Chinatown, but uh, No disrespect. No, we London. love Chinatown. But. I'm coming to London. I, I, listen, if we do that, man, we're going to have to find a statue and we're going to have to talk that London's that Hey, I'm on L- for it. Londonese. <laughs> Londonese. <laughs> we, got, we got to talk that Londonese. <laughs> so we got at, at number seven, number man. Seven. Chicago, seven. Illinois. Chi-Town. Chi-Town, oh. okay. baby. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, I mean, Chi Town. That's what I'm talking yes. about, man. We got the Obamians. Yes. Obamians. <laughs> <laughs> we got listen at number six, number Dallas, six? Texas. Listen, Dallas. Yeah, I mean, oh. I haven't been here yet, but on Instagram, it seemed like all of the baddest women right now are from either Dallas or Houston. So shout out to Dallas. Okay. Oh, oh man. Good hold Lord. On, hold on. Hold on. Seriously, okay, Dallas. I'm serious. No, don't tell him that. You know, <laughs> number, number five. Move on to number five. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> I'm feeling Move myself. On to number five. <laughs> number five is <laughs> number five is Houston. Oh. Okay, Houston, baby. Right, so you got Dallas and Houston. Ooh, yeah, all right, Houston. Listen, right. Listen. You know, I mean, that's that's all the rum. About to cut up in listen, here. That's all, all right, number four. Number four. That's what all the rum shakers is at. Yeah, I say it's from Dallas. I mean, from Texas. So. <laughs> oh, oh, where? Houston, Texas. Oh, man, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we at, at, at number four, man. Shout okay. out to the crib. Philadelphia, baby. Okay. Shout out to the crib. Philadelphia, baby. Okay. Shout out to the crib. Philly is representing. Yeah. We love the crib. Yes, Philly. Philly. Y'all young boys got to chill. Y'all drawing out there with all this uh, violence, but uh, we going to figure it out. Yep. Yeah. Shout yeah, out man, to the city. The Philly right. in the plate, okay. baby. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean? Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles don't want anything. Listen, I am an Eagles and I'm a Steelers fan. I'm not an Eagles fan. You know what I mean? I'm a Steagle fan. Steagle fan. Steagle. Okay. I'm a Steagle fan, baby. Put off me, man. Fill up for short. Hey, but it, in reality, man. All right. Man, Philly should be number one. Yeah, Philly we'll should be number one. He said Philly should be Philly, number one. Get your okay. Philly should be number one. We'll right. let it slide. All right. Get so your weight up. Come on. Yeah, I mean, get your weight up on the viewership. Number but, two. But, but, but I hope, hope, but I will give it to Philly, Philadelphia. Got the most watch hour. We appreciate y'all. Yes, so keep you know what I'm saying? We appreciate you no matter where yeah, you're coming from. We love yes. it, baby. Yeah, you know I mean. Okay, Ubu say he from Minnesota. Minnesota. Ooh. Okay, okay. Listen, okay, man, Ubu. Yeah. Shout out to Prince. Ooh, ooh, ooh is our family, y'all. Yeah. Yes, he is. Ooh is our family. Brother from another mother. Yeah, you know I mean, brother from another mother. We love you. Ooh. Hey, can we walk up a dollar though? <laughs> 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 All right, we're at number three, man. No, no, LA, no, no, baby. no, 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 no. Wait a minute. That was, you just said three. No, no four that was, was number four. Okay, four I'm sorry. Philly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Number, number three, three is LA, baby. All right, I'm sorry. I don't want to take yeah, nobody's yeah, time. Man. I ain't yeah, taking nobody's time. All right, crit LA. Walk uh, we crit walk okay, over there. I'm representing the day with the red. Okay, I'm representing the day with the red. red. Yes. Oh, you blooding? I'm about to say that ain't the crit. Blooding, baby. No, 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 no. I know the difference. I was about to say. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Me, that's it. She got that red on, y'all. Got the red, got the red. Yeah, I mean, she red. got that. She got that scarlet on. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Scarlet <laughs> T. Yeah. Oh. Hey, listen. Don't you know that red makes your heart beat faster? Wait, what? What? Yeah, you ain't know that? Nah. Never heard that. Yeah, before. yeah, yes. The color red makes your heart beat fast. Oh, okay. Mm, maybe that's well, what. My, okay. No. Yeah, I mean, that's why if you're ever getting busy, make sure you get that red on. <laughs> oh, damn. Make his heart beat faster. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, ski, ski, well, ski. Well, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? Speaking of I ski, ski, keep my ski, comment goddamn. to myself. <laughs> <laughs> number two. <laughs> Yo, we number hold on number two, baby. Number two, Atlanta, Atlanta. Okay, number two, baby, Atlanta to the yes, window to the wall. Yeah, I mean, right, Atlanta. To the sweat run down my balls. Oh damn! Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Atlanta in the building. Look, we love some Atlanta, man. Yeah, Look, yeah. I know Atlanta. Like, listen, we tired of y'all up north cats coming down here. It's time for they like. Listen, it's time for y'all to go back. Listen, no. Nah, mm. no, no disrespect, Landon. Y'all can keep them down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that went down there, they can stay down there. Number one. All right, drum roll, drum uh, roll, number drum one roll. Yours. Number one, number one. Number one of yours, y'all. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. New York. Ah! Shout out. <laughs> Empire is still the worst. Okay, <laughs> NY. NY, baby. Yes. You know what I mean? Love. Just like I said, guess who's Zach? So smell okay, crack okay, my clothes. Okay. So smell okay. crack. Yo, mm. yo, 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 Thank you, you everybody, for tuning in. <laughs> yeah, man. We Keep got it up. And listen, NY, man. Listen, we love like, NY. You know what? You know what I think it is? Because we keep it real just like them, man. Exactly. 
But you know, I mean, NY really they undercover. Brothers, they they love Philadelphia. Yeah, they are brothers to the north. So man, and sisters, brothers and sisters. I, I was I was going there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, and why, man? Let's, and why we love y'all, man? We Thank y'all for y'all, man. We love y'all for being our number one viewers, man. Just your podcast. Look, we, we are love you growing, all, baby. No matter, where, no matter where you're tuning up in from, if you didn't make the top ten. We still appreciate you no matter what. Thank you so much. Tell them again. Thank you yes. for that diplomatic. Uh, yes. 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 But just to get back to my Philly, man, we are. Y'all need to be number one, though. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get Because we are from the 215. Okay. Tell them again. We Where are we from? 215. God damn it. 215 says 267. <laughs> no, we ain't no 267. We never claiming that. Shout out to everybody with the two six seven, but we, but ain't, we ain't claiming it. <laughs> two one five forever. Yeah. Hey. All right, man. So shall we start the very first Let's video? Go. Yes, yes, yes. Go. Yeah, man. So, very first video, y'all. We got a thirty-one year old single woman trying to figure out why she can't find love. Ooh. I'm yeah, hey, let's let Peanut kick this off now. Come on, Peanut. It's this jump podcast. Here y'all say let's go and then we ready. Now let's go. All right, 31. I have any kids. I got a credit score of 803 exact. Recently pulled. I have two paid off cars. I'm about to close on my first house this year in May. I'm not toxic at all. I got a big booty. I'm releasing an app on iOS and Android. I work hard as fuck. I'm not clingy, but I'll always make sure my partner feels appreciated. Okay, so I don't cook, but I can. I can learn. And it's not like I don't know how to cook, but I just don't cook as much as I should. I'm probably not as feminine as the average feminine female, but I, I wear heels. I dress up. I just feel like I have a very dominant personality. I'm 5'8 in my head, but 5'4 on paper. I've never actually lived with a partner before. I'm just trying to figure out how am I not married with five kids running around? Like, what the fudge am I doing wrong? Most people say, oh, I don't give people a chance. Yes, I do. I have boundaries, though. And I don't let people fuck me over. I'm going to say more than three times because I give chances. I even give you a second chance. But it's so easy for me to just walk the fuck out once you start playing with me. But I still don't understand how I'm still single. She said no cooking, Ubu. That's right. She said no cooking. He said you know clone her. Wait, no cooking. She didn't mention the Guac Guac 3000 either. So <laughs> I don't, I mean, I don't know. No. <laughs> Look, let me, I think I can pin down the reason why she's probably single. It could be a whole be, bunch be, of reasons. She's probably looking for that upper echelon man instead of just settling. Not settling. I don't want no, 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 no. to say Not settling, settling for. Getting what she But just settling deserves. for the man. I mean, you know, well, my it thing could is, be a is, man well, who just a garbage, kids, a garbage What working, does the five you know, kids running truck. around have to do with her being in a relationship? No, no she, she, said, she was just saying that. I know, but I'm just saying. She, yeah, she doesn't have a, But she, I mean, listen, if it was me, I mean, listen, I, I wife you up. <laughs> okay, so. And I tear it up. You sure? I tear that shit up. You know we gonna keep bringing in these impactful pumps of yours now, <laughs> Carlo. Like, come on. Those impactful Whoa. pumps, we don't know if that's gonna fly with her. But, but. I tear that ass up. She kind of contradicted herself. She said, I don't cook, but I, I can learn how to. But then she said, wait a minute. But she said she, she can learn. Yeah. Listen, so. She, listen, if she has the Guac Guac 3000, that can definitely take place of the non-cooking. I'm I'm pretty sure most of my fellas would um would would insert one for the other. Um with Uber Eats and um you know DoorDash, we can solve the food problem, especially if the guac walker is guac walking. Yeah. So let be honest. Listen. Listen. It's so much more to what she just said because I, don't I think would love would to be a issue. fly on the wall. Or be that man just to see, like, because my thing is, is like, we can only go by what she's telling us. We we don't know what she does in a relationship. She can tell us that, but we don't know. But also at the end of the day, who's to say that maybe she's not in a relationship because she's so busy and she's focusing on herself. So therefore, she doesn't really have the time. She should have said that then. She didn't that's say what that. what it sounds like. That ain't you know what she said. It could be. That's it. not what she said. But also at the same time, if you're listening to her, she's saying what she's doing. She's she's developing these apps. She's in the process of purchasing a house. So it sounds like she's really busy right now. So maybe she just doesn't she have the time. It. But then she also said she has a dominant personality. That could be like, you know, pushing guys off a little bit if she's just like really, really domineering. It's not what she's saying, but it's what she's saying. 
she could be meeting the wrong type of man. Mm-hmm. She could be meeting a man that's weak. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, d- 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 doesn't have a self confidence. I'm. She be the man that got kind. He like, listen, I don't give a fuck what you do. I don't care. You create a hundred apps. I don't care if you're a millionaire because she, I'm gonna tear that ass up. <laughs> she, you know what I mean? And then if, if I like you, I'm a wife. You. Period. Point blank. She read, she read her she read her stats down like she was a god. And that's what it I was, was just saying. Like, and listen, most men don't she, care. Like see, I don't care that your credit time, score is what if, what if she acts damn? so much like a man that maybe. She that's keeps a, getting friend zoned. But then that's where she run into the wrong type. Yeah. yeah. She getting she's probably getting all of the simps. Or she's probably getting all I hate the alpha beta thing is not really real, but she's probably getting the what quote unquote what they call the beta males because she's coming off so dominant. Right. If she was right. more feminine, I'm pretty sure she's a beautiful woman. And she says she got that thing behind her, so I'm pretty sure but she. But the, the her, her butt thing got nothing to do it, with it, her personality. Listen, see, I don't know. See, you don't. Know. Oh, yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. See, yeah. This is why. See, fellas. This, this is why see, fellas. I need me another female co-host <laughs> because y'all be ganging up. No, no, me. no, no, no. Don't play the victim. Mm-mm. See what it is, fellas. You see how women think they know what we want and they're not listening to what we say we want. When we say we like that thing back there, we like that thing back there. So we don't hold her personality. I love her personality. But yeah. if she got that thing, thing, thing. First of all, I didn't, I didn't say that. That's not what you did. Like I just said, you know, hold up. What they got to do with her personality? That's we, what I, they not mutually exclusive. <laughs> her personality is her personality, but okay. that thing is that thing. <laughs> okay, so Every, basically, listen. she got a real messed up personality. No, no, no. But no, she no. got it. But she got it behind. Oh, no, listen. And she got a butt. No, no, you'll, no. You'll, you'll accept that. No, that's no, what no, you're no, saying? no, 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 no. Nope. But sometimes I'm taking that every thing in. But I'm and listen. when that thing be thinging, you be like, yeah. I'm just taking every. What type of personality you have? I'm taking. So you know what this. Right here, what you saying right now, Carlo, contradicts what we said in previous in, in no, no. previous shows when we talking about the BBLs no, and no, stuff no, no, like no, that. No, listen, but so if it's natural, no, listen, if no. it's natural, here, we love on. natural. Hold on, listen. I'm just going off every attribute she listed. <laughs> so there are some women who don't have that thing back there, so they can't use that as an attribute. I'm just solely saying that she says she had that thing back there, so that's an added point. So it's just some points that some. Some women have, some don't. She might have a crooked tooth. She might have straight teeth. So she put her attributes out there, and I'm only going off those attributes. Look, Jalil, like, are... he, he's saying that's why dude's not sticking around. She's not feeding him. <laughs> Give him some four wings and rice. I believe, and I say this all the time, man. A confident man don't care about what you do no. or how much money you no. make. We don't care. We don't care you got two cars and a house. Care. We don't Congratulations. Care. Exactly. That's not putting money in my pocket. What, what, that, what, what value does that bring to my life? Because yeah. I don't want to drive your cars. I don't yeah. want to live in your house. Now, now don't now don't get it twisted. If you look good, and you got you you have a a, a brain, and you got a a, a great personality. Wait, what kind of brain? Is and you're yeah, funny. But we don't Time we don't know how she is. And we know. Yeah, because my but, thing is, it's like everybody got flaws. She didn't mention not one flaw. Because at the end of the day, it's like you told us what you thought was your she, resume. You know what? But is it the is it the most accurate accurate resume? You just but told you know us what? what you thought we wanted to hear. But you know what? That's a flaw. Yes. That's a her flaw is she thinks she don't have a flaw. Mm. No, I don't want to put that <laughs> on her. She might because again, at the end of the day, when you when you presenting yourself, just like your resume, you ain't gonna put on there that you you was late to work. <laughs> 18 times you I, put your I ain't gonna put it in <laughs> so you gonna wait yeah. until you meet somebody then you don't wanna say yeah you know okay, I got so this this and this but if I you know was, what, I'm okay, if I was calling I my smack girlfriend me, right I smack me. Like, if I was calling my girlfriend and I was like you know what look I ain't got no man you know this is what I do blah 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 I am going to tell her the honest truth on what I'm doing that's your friend. that way she can give me the most honest feedback because that's or what friend. I'm doing you wrong. already know her. Okay, but at the end of the day, why even put that on there if you're not going to tell us the truth? But, but it, it might not, not be the truth, but you don't mm-hmm. want to put it all out. You're going to go on the first date. Don't do like, it at all. But also, it also comes down to, it also boils down to there are more women in this world than men. Of course. So, I mean, we can have the pick of the litter. All right, so you don't want to put the of flaws course. out there because it's going to yeah. be like, oh, nope. I can we, pick we, somebody yeah, else. We, we can have to pick the litter. Yeah, I don't want you. You know what I'm saying? You scare me hey, off. Hey, listen here, Shorty. Keep doing what you're doing, God damn it. You know what I mean? She was cute. And a man, a man gonna come along. 
And tell you that. Listen, I'm going to need you to find that IG for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not. I am not your personal dating service. No, thank you. Hey, baby, if you happen to see this, just put it on a uh, This John Podcast IG. Just tag yourself. Huh? We, we appreciate the view. Yeah, hey, lovely. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this John Podcast. If I don't get the cut up, y'all can't cut up. No, no. <laughs> Oh, honey dip. That's all right. I'm habanero have sauce tonight. over here. <laughs> Always cutting up. Exactly. Yeah, you know I'm saying. What you mean? We, we, you ain't got to say it like that, CJ. I, I'm well, just, who was it exactly I'm, for? I'm just, like, I just, just have fun. Just like y'all have they, fun. What, what I just like to have fun. Oh Girls God. just want to have fun. Oh. I think we need another female coach, but we we need someone who's in the church oh, <laughs> to try to to try to level this off because we need to Yeah, we, man. Hey, we are children work. up in here. <laughs> that yeah. is not going to work. We I am not going to sit here with my legs crossed and my hands crossed. No, I'm here to have some fun. So, in other words, you were just sitting there with your legs wide open, huh? Oh, just just cock all open. Cock, oh, we using a lot of words. For this. <laughs> Got cock open, <laughs> brain. Yes. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <laughs> next just, video. This just, like, oh, there. Oh, next video now, huh? This sound like this should be on the hub. <laughs> next video. Hey, listen, we need to drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Oh Tell us gosh. what you think. Yes, drop a yeah, comment. Hey, drop a oh, comment. What we got for that next video, man? What we got for next video? Oh, here it. Here we go. Here we go. Next video. <laughs> we got a woman that harasses a man for eating a happy meal. Mind your damn business. <laughs> damn. <laughs> After that peanut kicked this off. It's this damn podcast. Oh, let's go. What do you think of Jay? <laughs> it's not even business. I need my lunch. That's a happy meal. Yeah, I'm not very happy now. Thank you. What's your point? Why? Sorry. Why are you getting kids meal? It's the cheapest thing on the menu, but it's not really any of your business, is it? I'm trying Where's to have my your, lunch. Sorry, where are your children? Who said this is for children? It's a happy meal. Sorry, I just, like, this man has just come in and bought a happy meal. And hey, what's wrong with that? But where have you put the kids? What do you mean where have I put the kids? It's for me. Where's your car? What, what kind of question is this? Is it, why are you asking me a million questions? So it's for Robert Dumpty. Why am I showing to you? Yeah, I just find it limited to suspicious that you've gone into McDonald's and have a happy meal for a general kid. You find it suspicious that I've gone to McDonald's to buy a happy meal? And I don't have a kid. How is that any of your business? What's, what papers? Who reads the papers? It's 2024. Okay, do you not read the papers online? Okay, but what? You can't read online. These are weird islands. Now some people are You're talking about Epstein's Island? Yeah, I am, yeah. What's that got to do with my Happy Meal? He might have a Happy Meal now. You're not stopping him. I'm working for myself and I'm hungry and you're disturbing my lunch. I'm sorry, I'm, but that ain't a lunch. Because I'm having a happy meal. I've got my own. So it's neighborhood watch That's what we're there for. That's, no, no, no. What are you talking about? Why, why, why can't I have a happy meal? We're buying happy meals for children and just seeing where the children are. Listen, not that it's any of your business, but this is all I can afford. Yeah, it's the cheapest thing in the menu. I need a full meal. Because there's a safer menu and it's 99 pence. Is that right? Yes, this is right. Well, this is what I wanted. I chose to have this. Yeah, the little toy. Maybe I got a book. Maybe I got a book. A book. Maybe I got a book. Right. Yeah. And that's just is it. It's not an excuse, it's my lunch. There's no excuse for having lunch. I can right. whatever I want. We'll be going in, we'll be looking at the cameras, or we'll be making a note of your car and seeing exactly where you're going and what you're doing. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. And who are you here with? I'm in the neighborhood. Yeah? And you just left your kids inside there to come and complain about me and McDonald's? Yes, well, I can see the white lady through the window. How do you know that I have kids? Why are you looking at my kids? Are you joking? Are you crazy? You actually you crazy. Happy, I saw you, your kids were crying in there when I was, I was, I was, I was waiting you for this about five minutes. Get your eyes off I'm trying to have my eyes on my meal. You get your eyes off my happy meal and let me be happy, eat my meal in peace. And are, you feel, are you filming me as well? Obviously, I need to get the evidence. You're crazy. Evidence of what? A man trying to mind his own business to eat his happy meal. It has made you unhappy. My happy meal has made you unhappy. Do you know how stupid that is? Don't just stand there and stare at me. Let me eat my lunch in peace. 
I bet you are. Please, the woman. Hey, y'all, she going for the hamburglar job. First of all, she wanted his food. That's what it was. She wanted his food. She talking about something. I'm with Neighborhood Watch. No, you with Neighborhood Weight Watchers. That's she should be with Neighborhood Weight Watchers. Mind your damn business. So you just, you just up and just leave your kids inside the McDonald's to right. go outside. Worry about what the hell he doing. Exactly. Like, how you what the hell nobody's eating? stealing your kids and you worrying about some man eating a daggone Happy Meal? First of all, I get Happy Meals or Kids Meals, whatever you want to call it, because I don't eat a whole lot of food. So that's what fills me up. But how the hell are you just going to sit there and, what, and, and, and just like do that to, to that man just because he got a Happy Meal? It just doesn't make sense. Mind ah. your damn business. <laughs> Why do people have such a hard time minding their own business? My, I, I mean, he could have said to her, well, why do you have that large hoodie on when you should have a two X? Because it's so tight around your damn belly, your, your face turning red. He could have said that. Oh shit! Mind your business. <laughs> oh, people get on my nerves. I'd have been like, listen, man. You can have a box. Since you want, since you were worried about the Happy Meal, I'm gonna take my food out. You had a box because you obviously want some of this. She you, obviously you did. To, yeah. She but obviously did. She left her children, child Inside. endangerment. Go out there and question what the hell he's eating. Child endangerment. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, no, but listen. you the neighborhood watch. Hey, listen. You know, I'd have, boy, if that would happen, I'd have pulled out my badge. Hey, listen, Department of Human Services. <laughs> Um, I think I'm about to make a call because right. you watch well, shit ran her ass in there right. so goddamn I'm fast. I'm a mandated ball. reporter, man. mandated reporter, <laughs> man. I think you might want to back up. Yes, <laughs> you might want to go find out where your kids is at. Yeah, but I'm telling you, it's that entitlement, man. It is that entitlement. There should be no reason why she left the damn restaurant to go talk to him and what the hell eat. I'm gonna tell you right now. And he's outside at that, so he didn't pay for his food. Went outside, sitting at the table, minding his business. Enjoying, enjoying his lunch. In, in I would have followed her back in, and once she got her food out and knocked her food out. Right. <laughs> now I know, you, I know your big ass is mad. Now, now you really like, should be watching. Done. Yeah, I'm petty, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you really gonna yeah. be neighborhood watch. Hey, but, but just like I, I believe, uh, who's uh, Siweg? Kueg? That conversation did go on way too long. Way too long. Yeah, I would have got up. Like, ma'am, get the hell out of my goddamn face, and I'll continue if you continue to talk to me. While I'm trying to eat my lunch, I'd have bust upside the head with a french fry. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. I'd yeah, money if you would dangle one cut. in front of her like, hey, I know you want one of these. Easy to hypnotize the conversation would have been over. <laughs> yeah, I sucked on that, y'all. <laughs> uh, no, one. you, you, you got to leave your five fingers to yourself, especially with that one. Mm. Cause she looked like she would be trouble, trouble, trouble. She was. She just was waiting for him to get upset and be like, you know what? Exactly. That's. I what don't she care about the for. food. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. She's like, ooh, got me a. I, 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 listen here, ma'am. Are you sexually deprived? Because <laughs> there's no reason why you should be talking to me while I'm trying to enjoy my goddamn lunch. <laughs> that long. Wait a minute. Then she was asking about his car. Like, what his car got to do with this? Oh wait a minute. Hold. She asked him about his car. She's like, where's your car? Yeah, she was like, I'm oh, gonna, shit. she said, I'm going to take down the license plate <laughs> so uh, we can uh, follow and see where you go, see where you going. Yeah, like, what is wrong Are you with serious? you? Yes. Oh shit, I didn't, I didn't beat that. Yeah, ask him about his car. Miss Piggy, I'm gonna need you to go find <laughs> Kermit. Go find get Kermit. The hell out yes, my face. yes. Yeah. Hey, I'm like, what the hell, I'm driving? Don't worry about what I'm driving. I'm driving a butt naked mobile. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, oh, we you butt naked over here. <laughs> God damn it. Leave me alone. <laughs> this your podcast, man. Drop a, drop a comment. Drop a like. Tell us what you think. Like, subscribe. Yeah, man, let me see. Let me go. Let me set my water here. Oh, shit. I didn't have my Woodford yet. Ooh, you don't I need any. Tripping, tripping. Ooh. Mm. It's a big dog. No, I, Wait a minute. I, what I, you got in that brown bottle tonight? No, it is. This is this is my. You heard she's my, okay. Yeah, that's all you need. Sponsor, sponsor, yes, yes. Hey, 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 did you know that that Yinglings started in Pennsylvania? I don't drink alcohol, but you you mess with men that drink, right? Then just step your game up, goddammit. it! Ooh, I'm gonna. Look, Who the hell you look. talking to like that? Burr, burr, burr. You look, know what? I'm gonna smack y'all. Want to see me? Y'all want to see me? That's slap, that look on her him? face. Look, look. That's that look on her face. Look. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. You I'm see, she's Jesus. <laughs> Mm. I'm trying to sit here and make sure that he realize or even recognize who the hell he's talking to like that. Oh damn! <sighs> I'm I'm talking I'm to my composure. I'm talking to honey dip, yeah, ooh, honey dip tea, H honey dip yes, tea, honey dip, hot recognize. spicy habanero sauce. Respect, yeah, Ubu, you right. Respect is Karen's due. is all over the goddamn world. Mm -hmm. Ain't in just America. 
Yes. That was yeah. Like, sound like an Irish Karen. Mm-hmm. No, nah, it sounds she was like from the UK. One of them. The one of them, them, mm-hmm. them, them, them UK Karens. Yeah, but once again, they're all over the place. They are. No, but anyway, anywho, as Shar would say, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, I said Shar. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know what, man? Listen, I, I want to give, give give a quick shout out, man. I want to give a quick shout out to the, to y'all, definitely, definitely y'all too, because y'all damn sure keep this goofy train going. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. We give a shout out to my, that's my, my what that's what we here for. We fam. Yeah, we family up in here, y'all. Yes. Goddamn it, this joint podcast. Man. Look, yeah. even though they bully me, so when we when we not on camera, y'all have no idea of the of the harassment I go through. The thoughts and views. See, you see how, the how he took the camera off me. You see how he, <laughs> <laughs> they got me chained over here. The thoughts and oh, views. Oh shit! She's talking. Opinion. She's talking then free. Again, then again, I do like chains. <laughs> The thoughts, views, and opinions of our colleague I do like to be pinned down are expressed by all others who are a part of said podcast. I do like to be pinned down. What is this? Oh. Is this turning to Skinamax? Is this Skinamax? Is, is this the channel when you fall asleep you wake up to somebody, somebody smooching? <laughs> HBO After Dark? HBO After Dark, man. I mean, this your podcast, man. So where we at? Where we, are we at? We at number, number three. We at number three. It's about to get spicy in here now. Uh, not that kind of spicy. All right, so we, all right, let me make sure. Let me let me let me get the clicker. The clicker. Get this, gotta get it, it. You know how old people talk. <laughs> Where, where's my clicker? <laughs> I need you to go to the mat. Oh my god! <laughs> my mom say that to me all the time. I need you to go to the mat. Uh, we on oh, uh, get it out the zinc. The zinc. The zinc. The zinc, <laughs> yeah, oh, zinc yes, is, yes, a, yes. is a damn mineral. <laughs> <laughs> so where we at here? Now listen, I'm video number three. Did her mother give her good advice? Huh. Wife Listen. kept a secret stash with her husband money. And when times got hard, she didn't even help out. <laughs> Fucking Jezebels. Oh, shoot. Did I say that? Yes, you did. Damn, I'm sorry. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. Am I the ass for not giving my husband my escape money? when I saw that we are financially, uh, we, we were financially struggling. I'm a 34 year old female, have recently ran into a situation with my husband who's a 37 year old male. And I'm curious about if I am the ass here or not. So me and my husband have been together for eight years, married for seven. When I got married, my mother came to me privately and talked about setting aside money as a rainy day escape fund. If worse came to worse. My husband has never showed any signs of being dangerous and rarely even gets upset. But the way my mother talked about it, it seemed like a no brainer to have when me and my husband, I really don't like that. When my husband and I got together, um, we agreed I would be a stay at home wife. We are both child free. So that was never a concern. My husband made a comfortable mid six figure salary. All was good until about two years ago. He was injured at work in a near fatal accident between hospital bills and a lawsuit that we lost. That ate up nearly all of our savings. I took a part time job while my husband was recovering. But when he fully recovered, we transitioned back into me being unemployed as my husband insisted that it was his role to provide. He currently is working two full time jobs and Ubers on his off days to keep us afloat. Here is where I might be the asshole. Um, I do all of the expense management and have continued to put money into my escape account, although I significantly <laughs> decreased um, from 750 a month to just 200 a month. My husband came home exhausted one night and asked about downsizing because the stress of work was going to kill him. <clears throat> I told him downsizing would not be an option as I had spent many years making our house a home and offered to go back to work. He tried to be nice, but basically told me that me going back to work wouldn't make enough. After an argument, my husband went through our finances to see where we could cut back. He was confused when he saw that I had regular occurring withdrawals leading back years and asked me about it. I broke down uh, and revealed my money to him. <clears throat> my money. Which not sit, wait, which, uh, which now sits at about 47,000. After I told him all this, he, jo- he just broke down sobbing. His point of view is that I treated him like a predator and hid money from him for years, even when he was at his lowest. I told him that the money was a precaution I would have taken with any partner and not specific to him. He left the house to stay with his brother and said, 
I heard him on every possible level, but my mom says this is exactly what the money is for. First of all, go ahead. She went go wrong ahead. listening to her damn mother. Her mother is what got her into the damn predicament. Ass motherfucking bee. And I'm curious as to if the mother is even married. If your mom is married, did she do the same thing? And is she still married now? You don't do that. How you want to take a man's money and then he asks for it and then you don't give it to him? That's his money. How you going to have a rainy day? But wait, he didn't even ask for it. How you going to? He have, found out that she had. Yeah, but still, he was down. He he was out of work. They was low. He, they had to downsize. And not one time did she say, you know what? I got this savings, this $47,000 in savings. 47. Let me put that. God. Let me Damn. put this into the household because my husband can't do it right now. This is, what type of crap is that? This is the epitome of why men do not want to marry. And what women don't understand is the way that we think is it only takes a few a few examples to mess it up for the masses so like this man he did it the way most women well not most women but most relationships would like to be the man makes the the, the bread the woman is staying at home and she's the homemaker or whatever he gave her everything he gave it all to her gave her the life that she wanted because he said she said it was mid six figures so that means he was making some good money right mm -hmm. and they were doing well and he got hurt it wasn't like he was a bum he got hurt at work. Stuff happens. What happened to the vows? What happened and, to it exactly? Through sickness and health. Right. Through, uh, you know, the good and the bad. Like, he did everything. And she took his money. It wasn't like she had her own thing going on. And while he's down, she's still taking. Bro, yeah, like. Yeah, not me, at any know, point, when is she supposed to contribute to the relationship? She's just constantly taking, listening to her bitter ass, probably. What did Nino Brown say? Well, you know what? Say? Let me say this. I, I, I wouldn't have a problem with it if my wife said, listen, I'm putting a little money to the side for us in case of an emergency. Right. But Communicate her, that. But her going into thinking that this is escape money. You name it, escape money. Right. You, you already have one leg out the door. Right. You, or you, one foot out the door, as, even, as they say. You never even put that foot you know, in the door. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. She coming into yeah. the relationship thinking on the negative, thinking that it's not going to last. Like, if you thinking that way, of course, that's what's going to happen. It, like, it, how, it you just wanna, last. how you just want to hide that? That's my money. Now, it was, exactly. it was our money at first. But the fact that you took it, so even if whatever the situation was and you left with money, you left with money that you did not run past me. That's my money. Yeah, if, you, now, if, we keeping it, uh, if we keeping it a bean, like, so to now, me, yeah. I just don't, I don't like stuff like that. It's just, that's, that's the, on both, on both ends. I'm not yeah. saying it just for women, but on both ends, like. It, it, I remember me, me, me and my me. buddy, we, we were talking about women and having their mad money. Because my, my grandmother, my mother used to always say mad money. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't see a problem with you having a little money. If, if you're a housewife, I mean, you should have a little money. You know what I mean? Get your hair done, get your nails done. And continue, right, continue, because they don't have no continue, source of income no in there. Income. Yes, right. continue look good. But if we're struggling, oh, I need to I need to dip into that money. even Because I'm not going to break my back paying yeah, 100 even know of the bills about working it. my ass off. He didn't even know about it. And you sitting on damn near $50,000? Even, even if we're not struggling, you're not going to take money hard-earned money that i worked for and have it in your own account or whatever and at least not have me aware of the way she, it. that's the sneaky the point. way like, she went about it like was that. just real but deceitful yes. it was very yes. deceitful yes very. yeah i mean like i said i don't have to, I, I do not have an issue with you putting some money to the side or having some money for yourself but what i see in some of my friends relationship or ex relationships are is that they they bust their ass and then something happened in the relationship or the marriage, and then the woman, the woman leave or he leave, and she got a whole furnished apartment or right. house, and he's sleeping on the goddamn floor because he got no money saved. And I tell my friends, yo, bro, listen, number one, never move in with somebody. If y'all get a crib, get a crib together. Yeah. You know what I mean? And number two, you always got to have some money for yourself. If she going to have some mad money, you make sure you good and goddamn well have some mad money for yourself. Yeah, so we got some cute, emergency money. Uh, Well, her name is Kells. I don't know how she pronounced her screen name, but she's saying, I agree on many of these points. 
But I have to agree with her putting some money aside and ideally in investments because yes. that would have given her more than both for both of them. Yes. That, but see, that's you. the problem. Kel, you thinking about, OK, her her thinking about both of them. But initially in throughout this whole situation, she's just thinking about herself. She's thinking about, OK, you know what? If something happens, this is my money because of the way she's coming about it, saying escape again for me, like. Even if she wanted to put the money away for herself, that would be fine. But it's the sneaky part of not letting yeah. me know. That's the part that that's pissing me off the right. most. That I don't care if you take money for yourself. I'm I'm cool with that because the fact that you don't work, I understand you don't have any income. I'm good with all of that. <laughs> but if you even if you would have said, "Listen, babe, I got I got this me account that I just put money in for me. Just it's just mine. Okay, cool. We talk about it. Fine." But the fact that you just took money, you withdrew money from my account, put it in your account, and then don't tell me it. No, now, now see, listen, I'm gonna have to get my sisters over here to put put hands on you because you're playing with me. Okay. And so that me account, that quote unquote me account, should have provided for both of them when he was down and low. So therefore, that just goes to show the mindset that she was in. She's not thinking about them as a union. If you married to this man, you should be thinking about the both of y'all. Yes. She's just thinking about herself. Yep. So she should just be. Ain't, she should just be single. Fellas, do me a favor. Okay. All quick. right. She said that's how you pronounce it. Quick. All right. Quick. So now I know. Yes. Quick. She said that's how. She, Fellas. Quick. quick. <laughs> do me a Stop favor. Stop shooting that little shit. Quick. <laughs> <laughs> do me a favor, fellas. Do me a favor. When you're courting these women. I need you to really pay attention to the most pivotal and important women in their circles. If it's their mama, their friends, whoever, because you have to understand who are the people in her ear when she's trying to get advice or when she's going through it or she's upset because those be the people that a lot of times fuel the mindset of the woman that you're courting. So if she's around a bunch of bitter Bettys, she's probably going to have some bitter Betty mindset. Mm -hmm. If she's around a bunch of broke chicks, she's probably going to have a little broke mindset. If she's around a bunch of women who don't like to see their girlfriends in nice relationships and always going to make it seem like you the problem, you're going to have issues. So definitely look into that circle, moms, aunts, friends, sisters, and that'll kind of <laughs> tell you like who's the, who the people she's confiding in. Yeah. Make yeah. your choice. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let me, let, let me add this. Let me add it. I believe the days of a man coming home and turning over his paycheck are long gone. You you have to know your finances. If you're a woman or your wife or your girlfriend that you live with, your partner, Maybe he whatever, was old whatever. School. Now, I mean, it could be, but you still must know. You, I'm telling you, those days are gone. You have to know how much money you have in every one of your bank accounts. So that goes both ways. Yes, it does. It does because you know you turning over your money and next thing you know you broke as hell. Anything can happen, especially and, when and, you got somebody and, and, and managing then, and then it. Guess what? And then you're not really going after them and seeing what they're doing. Let me add, and guess what? <clears throat> when it comes down to that time of divorce, you're paying alimony on top of the fifty to one hundred thousand that she has stashed. Right. And she's sitting pretty, sitting on that Raymore Flanagan in front of her. And guess what you got? You got that cheap shit that that was on that goddamn late night commercial. It might be Ray Moore. It, it, yeah, I mean, it might be what, Ray. What's that? What's that cheap shit? You got that cheap that like, cheap IKEA shit made out of motherfucking court. It, it might be Ray Moore and Flanagan when she moved in. Yeah, yeah. But when it burned down, it ain't gonna be. Ooh, you burned. No, he didn't. Okay, okay. When it burned down, it ain't gonna be nothing. You had to go to that thrift store and get you some furniture. Hey, look. You know, uh, listen. Wait a minute. He, said, you gonna he, didn't, he didn't say see, that see, B see. word. Did he say that B word? He said the B word. <laughs> he just said, my name left eye. I'll yes. burn this motherfucker down. <laughs> What's your name? My name Arson. Hey, listen. Everybody, you must protect yourself. You must. Because, I mean, no, rarely is a marriage forever, man. Rarely is it forever. Everybody must protect themselves. I'm sorry. I do. We do a lot of the red pill jokes. A marriage is not forever jokes. when people don't. When people get into it for the wrong reason. Well, marriage ain't forever because somebody gonna die. Yeah, somebody's gonna die. But I'm just saying, like it, it works when people go into it for the right reasons and not just for the simple fact. Oh, okay. You know what? He gonna take care of me or whatever benefits a person think they gonna get. That's what a lot of times why people get married. 
What? Nobody get married for love anymore? Uh, hey. Not really. <laughs> listen, quick. Those days, those days are gone. <laughs> listen, quick to over there. She, t- she talking about, she says, see, if he has some investments going on in an emergency <laughs> fund, then he could get that Ethan Allen. See, Uh-oh. see, that's what I'm talking about. Ethan Allen ain't cheap. I, I like the yeah. mindset, but uh, if you think but I'm, but you know what, he should have had some investments before he got injured because they could have been living on that, like something like an Affleck type thing. But not even that. Like, if I'm thinking that my wife is going to be solid. I might not need no. no I'm just saying in general. Yeah, you, know you should like, always have some common kind of investments. What you mean? I mean, yeah, but that's not. I don't think that's necessary. A, a lot of people don't might not want to be like super duper wealthy. So Wait a minute, quick! What you mean? F love. What the finances look like? Okay, oh, all right. Okay. That's what that's what you <laughs> okay. that's, that's what you want. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> look, uh, we, don't don't, don't, you, that don't retract look, that little look, shit. Don't we retract know it. your name now. Don't retract that. <laughs> don't retract that message now. We saw it. Hey, uh, uh, you wasn't fast enough. Uh, uh, gotta be quicker than <laughs> that. I was a faster. <laughs> yeah, gotta be quicker than that. Gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> hey, look. Let me tell you something, man. Listen, man. Look, I've been married before, so I am a. Divorcee, can, what, what, what are men considered? Divorcee, Not, you divorcee. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I mean, look, I can, I, I can believe him. Exactly, her. I agree. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> See, I was smart in my divorce. I had an exit plan. Oh damn! <laughs> I took the fucking iron board. It, see. Yeah, I mean, yo, you, listen, I am super petty. No, see, some bitter Betty's. You bitter. If I got divorced, I'm taking all the bags to her earrings. <laughs> I'm putting. Damn. I'm putting. First of uh, all, you can buy more of those. Uh, well, that, that you're gonna spend a lot of time doing it. I'm a. I'm a put water in all her makeup, and I'm cutting up. What if she don't wear makeup? Oh, okay, then cool. And I'm cutting up all the nice panties. You got me. Oh, hey. all right. cutting them all. Go right. Look. Me, I'm like, okay, I'm simple. I'll go buy some more. Hey, just the reason why I need to buy some more. Hey. No, you're going to spend this money. Hey, I am not going to let gonna nobody be, gonna disturb these draws. I my I peace. My peace is important. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a, wait a minute. 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 So are, are you telling me that you have never done anything, anything close to what? Toxic. That last video did toxic. No, oh, nothing, first no, of all, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. First of all, I never said I didn't do anything. I never said that I was an angel. I said now. I said now. So yes, I have my share of dirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's definitely going to be some things I'm going to my grave with. <laughs> but hey, yes, listen, I had y'all. flattened some tires, broken some glass windows, dented some cars, put some chocolate and bananas in gas tanks. <laughs> I okay. told y'all she was honey hot. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Habanero oh, sauce Lord. over here. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But why was you so kinky with the gas tank? Why did you have to put the chocolate on the banana and then put it in the gas tank? Why you couldn't just put the banana in there? That's real kinky. Okay. <laughs> she like, she like I, I done crawled into some windows. Oh, uh, for real? Who's let me that peeping in my window? Oh, this 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 is something we didn't even know. Yeah, Look, I, mean. I, I done got some. I got some some stuff that I done. It was funny. It was fun. Look, hey, it was fun. Instead of taxi cab confessions, this podcast confession. Hey, confession. like I said, it's gonna be some, yeah, it's some stuff that I would yeah. never. I would yeah, never we tell anybody. Spicy after dark. <laughs> this joint after dark, baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Definitely some things I'm going to my grave with. Quick said, I am a divorcee. As if I had the shrimp to come back. What? Listen, listen. Yeah, the divorcees, man. Listen, that's that. <clears throat> that's all I'm dating now, man. Is divorcees? What, is divorcees? No, w- women who was in long relationships. Oh, I was about to say, what is there, like an app? So what's that? the difference? It's an app for that. Yo, we need to make an app for that. No, maybe. Huh? What's the difference? What's the difference? Uh-huh. Because they, they got, they have, they have that, they have that steadying. They have that, that willing <laughs> to commit. You know, it's like, if you ever ask someone, say, listen, what's a long relationship you ever been? Mm-hmm. They'd be like, oh, well, I was only I was, uh, two year, three year. I'm like, uh, nah, I can't that means you playing you. around. You got games. I, I need, I need, she I need, I need scrimp. that team. Yes, scrimp, scrimp. I mean, the scrimp. We have video number oh, We having four. too much fun. All we have right. video number four? That was number four. four. Oh, so do I have it? Yes, I got it set up. So, just your own podcast, y'all. Video number four. He said he would never eat my... For Juju, Uh-oh. for JJ, let me sit up on this one. <laughs> a bisexual girl explains why she would rather date a woman than date a man. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, so spicy at the dog. Come and talk to me. <laughs> I really want to eat you, oh. girl. Oh, I mean, uh, oh. I got the words fucked up. <laughs> Peanut. 
<laughs> it's this jump podcast. Aww. Let's go. I'm bisexual, and the amount of times people are like, oh, but you're going to end up with a guy because a guy will take care of you. In what world? I was just seeing a guy who said that he would never eat my bajuju and that the next time we go out to dinner, I have to pay. Meanwhile, my ex-girlfriend flew me across the country, took me shopping, and ate my ass. So. That it's, wasn't a man that she was dealing with. That was a little boy. Uh, let, me, let me tell you this right here. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, you ready. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey. First of all, yeah, hey, first of all, yeah. first of all, if you oh. want, if you gonna eat it right, it ain't, it ain't no prepping. You don't need no knife and no fork. You just dig right on yeah. in. Yeah, I, I mean for I mean for an hour. God damn it! Like I said, if you eating it right, you don't need none of them utensils. Just yeah, dig I on less. in. I ain't I ain't I ain't listen, hey baby girl. Listen, my question. Hey baby girl, what what that twat waffle? I got the syrup oh, ready. Whoa. I got the syrup ready. Hopefully. The- <laughs> Where's that twat waffle, god damn it? <laughs> oh, first of all, hold on. Where is this girlfriend at? She flying people out. You're tossing salads. She's like, yeah. She is on the top of the list. She is, she is amazing. <laughs> Flew me yeah. out and ate my, oh my God. What she was dealing with was not a man. She that was not a man. She said the booty grocery. Yeah. And obviously she was, I don't know what, he said that he's not going to eat, he's not going to eat the bajay and she got to pay. He weird. Where is these dudes that, that she's weird. dating? I mean, what, that type, was, what type of man she? That grown son. That's what that was. No. He was a grown son. He was somebody's grown son. I don't know <laughs> what it, what he was, but obviously he wasn't. He, he wasn't, was he on the turkey man. time, as the kids say. Because yeah. I don't know. None, none of that made sense. You so Because, uh, again, it's like, at least, if, if, fellas, if you're not going to pay, you got to play. But he ain't he, trying to do neither he, one. He just, he just he all like, here. all right, look. So obviously he just wasn't interested. And if that was the case, just say that. Don't be wasting nobody's no, time. Maybe he's studying to be a priest or something. Maybe. I don't know. Listen, let me tell you something. See, uh, a lot of these guys don't know, don't know the trick. See, the trick is you get up in there and you start munching and snacking. And that way you don't have to give them the 30, 40 pumps. You, you can give them the 15. Because <laughs> they nice and primed. Gems, Bob. <laughs> Yeah, hey, they 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 get they good and primed. James. First of all, <laughs> we give sometimes it depends. It, it, it's it's not about how long; it's about how you do it. How, wait, wait, how wait, you wait, do it? How? What's the long part? I'm because <laughs> he said thirty minutes. Like oh, you can you time. can you can be at it thirty minutes and be like, okay, and like you in the wrong spot. Move over to the left side. Move, go to up some. Like hey, left. hey, you ain't you ain't you ain't in the spot. Like yeah. like yeah, you ain't doing nothing for me. <laughs> Listen, that's why you need to get up in that pudding pop and start snacking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why you need to get up in that pudding Listen, pop and start snacking. They talking baby. about tossing salad. I don't want no pudding pop if you tossing the salad. I don't think you want the pudding pop yeah. if you tossing the salad. Oh, hey, no. hey, look. Hey, hey, listen, so sometimes you might have slide to the pudding. Oh, no. Goodness gracious. Listen, Goodness U- gracious. Listen, quick and Ubu said they out. I'm out, too. I'm out. I don't want no more parts of this. Gracefully, gracefully, Bob. I ain't even gracefully, Bob. I'm just leaving. Uh-uh. This is going in the direction. I don't want no parts of Hey, listen. So, hey, sometimes. wait a minute. You don't want no parts in this conversation, not, CJ? How not? Not, not really? tossing salads with pudding. No. Okay. Hold on. Right, hold on. You. Bro, you mean tell me you never, you never toss a salad that? I, Look, it's not that I have it. Is that, no, hold on, hold on. <laughs> is, that, is, is that the stutter? Is it's that not stutter? that I have it, but I can count on my, my one hand how many times I've done that. That is not my thing. <laughs> not the twist. Not the no, twist. No, I don't. Want, I don't even like. Ta- I don't like salad. Salad dressing. Croutons. I don't like none of that. I'm cool. A, a- sis. Yep. Yeah, ready your salad toss. Have I ever had yeah, it? Yeah, we had your salad sure. toss. Sure. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's yeah, not I mean, the, you got to you got to have a clean it's, ass. It's, it's it's not the best feeling. I mean, it, it tickles. <laughs> oh lordy. <laughs> Maybe uh, because, you know, he was playing with it a little bit. I don't know. Maybe, hey, he, just you know what? He, Maybe listen, he just wasn't experienced. I don't listen, know. Before this get too X-rated. <laughs> we going to the next Yeah, I want to get too X-rated. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I don't like my marbles gargle. <laughs> that right there. It's a very uncomfortable feeling. No, actually, some, Video people, number five. some people actually do like that, though. 
<laughs> hey, you know, just push him around <laughs> like his mouthwash. Oh, video number five. Spicy of the dark, yo. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean, yes, this ooh. your podcast, man. We don't need a flashlight. Make we need sure a- you drop a comment, drop a like. God damn it, we need a floodlight in here. It's getting way too dark. Yeah, Not saying. a flashlight. We need a floodlight in here. Yeah, you know I mean, so where we at? We at? We at video number five. Ah, oh, I got my clicker in my hand. All right, Ubu. Yeah, you know I'm saying. We got, we got the flashlight. We gonna move on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Get some more light yeah. back in here. Yeah. <laughs> so, video number five. <clears throat> Is it over for her? A 33-year-old single mother of seven Ooh, God damn. is looking for a man to step up. Hmm. That's right, y'all men need to step up on this 33-year-old s- single mother of seven. She got starting five and bench She got starting start start seven. Bitch, jump seven. She got starting five but a oh, bench. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a mom of seven, and I'm 33. Okay. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, multiple children is still capable of finding someone? First, let me ask you before I make the statement. Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, so this is a little, hold on. We're talking about seven children, okay? This is no offense to you because that's, there's, it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and seven children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children on one person is a lot to create structure in. So there's a lot that this man is going to have to come in and do. On top of that, creating a secure space for you when you have to be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in a house. Are you going to have the ability to be able to love this man in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that registers as love to him when you have to love seven other individuals? You're going to need a man who can love those children as his own. Yeah, that is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children. Those are not his kids. But I, if I were you, no disrespect. I'll try to work it out with the with the father. No, no. Here Didn't I say send it back? You know, she has to be willing to let a man take control of that house. No, but no. also at the same of time, of first of all, wait a minute. Seven kids at 33. I'm not exactly sure. Of course, we don't know what happened or the dynamics of her relationship with the kid's dad. However, why does she have to move on? Why can't she just focus on her and her kids right now? That's what I think is more important instead of her trying to because move she, on with another lonely. man. Okay, but she can still date, but they don't got nothing to do with her integrating them with her kids right now. You want to make sure like, see, I know me when, when, when I was raising my kids or whatever. Yeah. I didn't just bring just anybody around my kids. Like I dated people and they never knew where the hell I lived. They may have heard about my yeah. my kids' names, but you ain't going to meet them because you know what? First of all, I need to make sure that you you fit into yeah. my dynamic yeah. before I start introducing let, you to let, my kids. Let me ask so you at the end of the day, it's like, let me focus on my kids. Okay. Let me ask you a question. When you was dating and you had your kids, was it easy for you to find a babysitter? I didn't really go nowhere. I didn't need a babysitter. Okay. So, so how did you date if you, when you wanted to go out on a date, what did you do with them? Um, so at the time, like by the time I started dating, they were older. Only reason I'm asking that is because who the hell watches seven kids on a date? That's a lot. That's a lot. of. So my whole thing is yeah. it, for, for her lifestyle, like again, if she wants the man to provide the, the traditional man providing all of that, that's fine. But she's going to have to find a, and I'm not even talking about financially. Let's take finances off the table. <laughs> She's going to have to find a man who is mentally in a certain place, uh, professionally in a certain place, because there's no way not. I don't want to say no way, but it is very, it's very, a very slim chance that you're going to find that man. She's 33. So if she finds a 33 year old man, the likelihood of a 33 year old man having his own kids is probably pretty likely. Yeah. So now if he has one or two, now we talking about feeding ten people. That's Brady Bunch times two. So so <laughs> her chances of finding a very <laughs> slim because it's like you come with a lot of baggage. And just say all the kids are good kids, they well mannered. No, you know, according all, to Ubu, he said it's a there's a definitely a badass one in there somewhere. It, it probably <laughs> is. There, out there out always seven, is a yes. badass one in the bunch. <laughs> and, and out of seven is definitely maybe two and a possible. Right, right. <laughs> and so it's like 
it's going to be hard. You're going to find them kids find, is run. They, them kids run that house. She's going to have to find a very very specific type of man who is okay with dealing with that. Look, like and we got y'all little saying the oldest kid is the babysitter. <laughs> no, that's sad. That's but a whole nother. Th- but you know topic, what? But yeah, exactly. But that's, that's the truth. That's a that's a lot for a man. If I'm if I'm a man and I'm coming into a situation, that's a lot to think about. Because that's yes, a lot. Because again, you. It, as you get to know her and you and you and y'all relationship gets deeper, you're going to have to meet the kids. You're going to be around. Eat, I get think about moving in. So where does she live at right now? Where she has seven beds. Mm. Now me, I'm gonna have to move with her. She can't move with me because I ain't got enough. I don't have enough bedrooms for these kids. <laughs> where we? What we doing? <laughs> like it's really a lifestyle change when you have multiple children like that. That's a whole different lifestyle. He probably used to come at home. Going in his room, sitting down, woo side for a minute. He come in, but I, oh my God, I, 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 like, oh, oh, yeah, but you know what? That's a little different. This. Look, quick, some some a Kiki White situation, but Kiki White got money, right? And she cool, Kiki Cocoa White, Puff, so. Kiki White can pay for babysitter. She got an in home babysitter, a living babysitter. At he, that, I mean, yeah. you know, he for one, the type of man that type of man that she is going to have to find. I'm sure she's probably looking for. Is one a confident man, a man with structure, a man who is well off professionally, you know what I'm saying, and who's willing, who's willing to take on her her children, and she has to relinquish that control. Yes, that's you know number saying? one, and that's the hardest part. That is number for one. single mothers is to relinquish that control. You can't because he at one point in time or another. He's going to have to discipline those yes, children, or, or, or not even from a discipline standpoint. If I got certain structure in my house, you're going to have to relinquish that control because it's like, listen, you brought this to me. I'm used to living this way. My house is a certain way, or maybe mm-hmm. after a certain time, it's eight thirty. I don't really have no noise in my house. My TV's down low. I'm, yeah, I'm, but I'm just because she got a man, that don't mean he got to necess- necessarily live in a house. So, like y'all talking about, like a you know. A domesticated type of situation like well he don't have to necessarily live in a house just because she got a man don't mean he have to live there but what's the point of it like the purpose of the relationship is to become one exactly you so it, but it, you gotta also get, at the same time once again if she just stopped dealing with the baby daddy because all these i don't care where's the, the baby man, daddy where is home. he first said, of all thank you but <laughs> <laughs> i took all these kids to, thank you girl i love you <laughs> <laughs> you need me to pay for that first date hey listen. Uh, whatever you got these kids i'm cool no. hey listen baby daddy Send the boy text on my right. no, they, they your problem. Look, female's my perspective, I honestly think she just needs to focus on her right now instead of trying to worry about, you know, dating and stuff like that. But again, instead like I said, I mean, we don't know here. where she I mean, because mm. you know, like I said, maybe she's but think she about that. But, but, but think about that too. She, how the hell she lonely with seven kids? Well, she may Because she probably tired, you know what I mean? But think she growing up with that, that damn rose. But think about or hugging that vibrator. She created that. But look, she had those kids. Think about it. What do they always say? They always say that, you know, a lot of women focus on their kids and their career and all that and then by the time they get back into the dating pool they, they didn't max they self out because it's like you're not used to what's going on out here so she don't want to take too much time because then those kids, those kids get older and now she get back in the dating game and she don't even know what she's getting herself into so she has to balance both of them and unfortunately having seven kids that's a lot because yeah. think, yeah. th- think about if she just wanted they wanted to go on a a, 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 like a play date go to the park uh, not the park uh clementon park or something like that know how much money that is six flags think about think about look, going to, and that's just entry they don't have that's not even touching food. even even if he take her to chili two for 20 that's, oh my that's four two for 20 oh my god <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah well, that's your two for two hundred. That's a two for two thousand. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, this your podcast, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. Where we at? We had oh, we had the last one of the what? night, man, boy. Yeah, you know I mean, let's Time see what we got. Time flies when you're having fun. Got my clicker. What's this number? Yeah, I'm saying it's video number six, man. Listen, she literally took his soul. Mm. <laughs> a woman recounts her most devastating breakup story which occurred during an intimate moment with her boyfriend. Oh, God. It's Bitch Jump Podcast. Oh, Let's go. What's the worst breakup? I lost my boyfriend of a brain aneurysm in the middle of sex. I was getting head and a blood vessel popped in his brain. And yeah, 
It's like the best and the worst, cause it's like, at least he left out like a real nigga. I was distraught, I was depressed. This is like 2017. I'm just now healing from that. <laughs> so listen. Oh, she probably had a sugar a daddy. Say, oh gosh. You better stop. <laughs> uh, <let's> stop. <laughs> <laughs> we, no, y'all really don't mean this, that. Y'all really don't mean that. We started this episode off uh <laughs> video one and I said that um the, the young lady uh she hopefully she has the guac guac three thousand. Um I'm gonna retract that and recant that statement because if the guac guac three thousand is um giving brain aneurysms, um <laughs> I think we might want to slow down there. Oh, so now you want the guac guac 1,000? Oh, so now you want to downgrade to the guac guac 1,000 and not the 3,000? Give me the 500. Make up your mind. Just give me the 500. I took the 500. Oh, just 500. Wait, wait, quick. She literally took his soul. Jalil, no, you do not want her number. Took his soul. Jalil, listen, Jalil, I'm scared. I ain't even going to lie to you. Hey, I am curious. When did she stop? Did, did she stop when he just completely went limp? I'm pretty. You know what I mean? Just thinking that he fell asleep. <laughs> like, you know, I killed this man. I sucked him to death. She probably was on the phone. Yeah, girl, I just put his ass to bed. <laughs> right. <laughs> he ain't never going to come back from nothing like that. <laughs> Literally. 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 <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I ain't never heard that before in my <laughs> life. She I guarantee you, was she probably not telling y'all that that was her sugar daddy? I bet you that was. I her don't sugar know. Daddy. He had he had a brain aneurysm. Yeah. I mean, how old? You know. Mm. I mean, mm. you know. Mm. She yeah, sucked listen. him to the gates of heaven. Damn. I've never heard that. <laughs> Damn, Look, she, you said you wanted that guac guac three thousand. Look, there you I go. Know. Listen, that's that's a motherfucker. That's a holler right there. <laughs> there. Ain't no, that's a holler right there, boy. J Jalil said he rolling the dice. He said, listen, <laughs> if, it, if it take me to the king, it just take me to the king. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, can you imagine him? And him and he had the pearly gates on about. Oh my god. How you get that, here? Well, I, um, man. Well, see what had happened. Well, was. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, I don't know how the hell I got here. <laughs> so here's my question. Um, and I know I probably can't say this because I don't want to get us demonetized when we get monetized. <laughs> but did she complete the task first? Or was like, I, I want to know if he if he was um, rejuvenated before he met his, mm. uh, before he met Jesus. Listen, mm. I don't know that. That's the best way. Obviously to go. not. I'd rather go coming. He done had a brain oh, in your wrist. I'd rather, rather go coming. Go coming. Hey. <laughs> That's a great statement. That, that, okay, watch what you ask for. That's what I'm saying right now. That's, that, that'd be for. the best way to die. <laughs> That's the best way to die. Yeah, you know I mean? All right, next week, check in with, 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 with Los and CJ and see how that happens. Listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. If the devil came to me and said, you either go by this gun or go by this come. Which one are you going to choose? I'm choosing not number one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there we go, man. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and as I'm going, I, hey, uh, can you uh, hit that uh, <laughs> hit that title for me? <laughs> Tamala Mans, take me to the king. <laughs> take me to the king. <laughs> I'm going out stop. Man, man. I'm going out with my, my pants down. Yeah, you know I mean? Oh, this your podcast, man. man. Make sure you Ooh. drop a like, drop a comment. Comment. Yo, thank yeah. y'all. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah, man. man. We want to thank you for joining us tonight. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all the whole for one hour that you're joining us. Now, I mean, sit your black behind down. You know, oh, yeah. yeah before I you didn't even do that. Five you know, hours before you make the change. Make See? change. That's because you don't need to be chastising them. That's because we came in so hot. It was we, we came in hot. <laughs> yeah, hey, we came in with the landing strip hot. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Man, thank you for joining us tonight. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, drop a share. Yeah, yeah. have any more awesome content, and we will see y'all next week. We and subscribe. Make, Make sure, sure you do the in. subscribe. That's okay. Right. Every Tuesday and Saturday is the replay. Make sure y'all y'all tap in, tune into that. We appreciate all the love, all the views, and we'll all the listens, everything. Yeah, we appreciate man. Peanut, Please. take us home. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Good night. Good night. Let's go.